Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and today I want to show you a new app that just hit the market called Bringcast. It is finally the solution many of us have been looking for regarding podcasts. Now I did a previous uh, video on another app called Podcast which allows you to stream basically your podcast to your phone in, in case you're away from your computer. Bringcast goes a step further. It actually allows you to finally download podcasts right to your device. As you can see here, I'm running the trial version, which is actually fully functional outside the fact you can only do three feeds, but that's a pretty good um, trial version, I think. The app retails for $1.99, and overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it, especially for version 1.0. It's just, uh, you know, it's pretty fast, and it does what it's supposed to. Here's the main page here. It shows what you have and if there are basically any updates. So it shows I have three feeds described. Um, what the latest thing is, oh, let's go back here. This is what's new. So it automatically checks to see if you have new updates. You can download the playlist or you can ignore that episode. And you can see I only have two right here, one does phone radio and Dr. Kiki Science Hour. Uh, here's your feeds right here. Then you can browse for feeds. Now this is one limitation right now that there's very limited feeds here. So like we'll go to gaming and it quickly downloads. You can see sometimes it's, it's still filling in some of the icons. The choices are pretty limited, but that's okay because I'll show you a, a midterm solution that they're offering. So yeah, for instance, under games audio, that's all there is. And here's for video. And yes, obviously does it download video or audio, which is very nice. So you have your different categories, and that's your main page. Now say if you wanted to add something, you can actually do import feeds, which is really cool. It's a little time consuming, but you can type in manually the address to the feed there, and it will work. I've tried this numerous times, and it works well. You know, So you can do your cast that way. You can also import an OPML file if you have that as an option. And actually we're pleased with both of those. It makes a limited selection a little bit easier. You can also contact them uh, by, there's a little form on here, and you can actually email them directly requesting a feed be added to a future update, which we think is kind of cool. Anyways, we'll go to the items here, give you a little directions. And then you can basically see all the previous episodes. So you can go back and actually download stuff. So it's just pulling it from the RSS feed, which is really kind of nice. And there are your options. Download the playlist, delete media, or add the playlist. You also have the show's info. So overall, it's pretty basic, but it does exactly what you want. Under settings, download data warning. Uh, I'll show you that, which is actually really nice. Delete pending downloads, delete all, delete all feed subscriptions. So this is actually a video podcast. Let's see, it's a little confusing sometimes on the menus, but you can go to now playing. It will hit play for this. And there's the video playing, and of course, you can go to landscape. Video quality is, of course, excellent. And this does add to your Zoom playlist, which is kind of cool, too. So all these videos or audio things will show up in under Zoom. Outside of that, though, it works fairly well. Let's try to download a quick video. We won't show the whole thing, but I'll show you basically what it's like. So it gives you this nice warning sign. Now, this can be disabled because it can be a little annoying, but it's basically just telling you you probably want to do this over Wi-Fi and not use your 3G, especially if you don't have an unlimited account, and we think that makes sense. So contacts the server, you have a nice big percentage download here, and that's basically it. 
uh, what's kind of cool, I can exit the app. It won't continue to download, of course. There's no multitasking here. But if you go back to the app, it will resume. And that works pretty well, too. I've had no issues with it. So in case, which I've done, I've accidentally hit you know, the search button by accident. It popped out. It, it will go right back to it. So that's it. Uh, that's Braincast. So you now, of course, if you do back out, it'll cancel it. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, that's Braincast. It downloads your podcast to your phone. And I'll quickly show you here. If I can find my music. And you can see I had Democracy Now! downloaded before. And everything shows up there in the history. So overall, a great app. Uh, you know, the trial, like I said, is fully functional. So make sure you give it a spin to see if you really like it. And for two bucks, hey, it's pretty good. Hopefully Microsoft will add this feature to the phone itself in the future update. Uh, I think they will, but for now, it is a great solution. There you go. Take care, everybody.